Welcome on the 13th day of this online course Physics with Sala. Today we will see the core fitting for experimental data with Sala. So first we will see what is core fitting. As we know a typical experiment collects data related to one parameter say x and the corresponding value of dependent variable say y. These observations can be stored in two vectors namely x and y. We are always interested in functional relationship between x and y. In practice generally the nature of functional relationship between these variables in the study is unknown. But by plotting the observations or from the physical laws applicable to the system, one can get the idea about the nature of relationship between the two variants. The approximations can be made in terms of polynomial functions, exponential functions, logarithmic functions, etc. These functions contain certain unknown constant which are to be determined with the help of a given set of observations. The process of evaluating these unknown coefficients or constants of the functions with the help of given data is known as core fitting. Using least square regression or the method of least square it is possible to compute these coefficients of polynomial function of some selected degree for y in terms of x let's now see the least square regression or the method of least squares let us have p pair of observations x1 y1 x2 y2 and so on up to xp yp suppose we want to fit a curve of the type y of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus and so on plus a n x raised to n plus a n plus 1 x raised to n plus 1 or equal to summation or i is equal to 1 to n plus 1 a i into x raised to i. So in this equation we want to compute the values of coefficient a0, a1, a2 and so on up to a n plus 1. So that the polynomial will best fit or best approximation for the given data. These unknown coefficients can be computed by solving the following set of linear simultaneous equations which are written in the form of a matrix equation. The first matrix is denoted by matrix S. This column vector is denoted by a matrix A and the column vector on right hand side is denoted by matrix P. So we want to get the values of the coefficients A0, A1 uh, up to An plus 1 so that we can rearrange this matrix equation for getting the values of the elements of column vector A such that matrix A is equal to matrix X inverse into matrix B. Once these coefficients are determined the predicted values of Y for the observed values of X will be given by this equation y is equal to sum over i is equal to 1 to n plus 1 a i into x raised to i minus 1. So now let us consider an example in which we have this sample data for the variables x and y. 
so values of x are minus one zero one two three five seven and nine and the values of y are minus one three two point five five four two five and four let us fit a fourth order polynomial equation to the above data which is of the form y of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus a3x cube plus a4x raised to 4. So the elements of the above matrix are given in the following tables. So these are the elements of the matrix x summation x raised to 0 gives the sum of 0th power of the values of x that is nothing but the total number of values of x then sum of x raised to 1 is the sum of all values of x then sum of x square will be the sum of square of the values of x and so on similarly the elements of the right hand vector b are summation y summation x y summation x square y summation f cube y summation x raised to 4 y Now with these values the simultaneous equations are therefore written as and then by solving we can get the values of a1 equal to 2.68, a2 is 2.30, a3 is minus 1.23, a4 is 0.21, a5 is minus 0.01 and so that the fourth order polynomial which will best fit to the given experimental data will be y equal to 2.68 plus 2.30 into x minus 1.23 into x square plus 0.21 into x cube minus 0.01 into x raised to 4. In Scilab we can minimize these steps involved to compute the elements of coefficients of matrix X and right hand vector B. So we can use the following steps to get the matrix X and matrix B. So here the XX matrix is the row vector with the elements X to the power 0 x x to the power 2 x to the power 3 and x to the power 4 then matrix capital x is defined as xx transpose into xx matrix then matrix b is equal to xx transpose into y a equal to inverse of x into b so by solving the lab, we can get the values of the coefficients a. The predicted values of y based on this polynomial equation can be computed as y of double colon comma 2 equal to xx into a. You can also plot the graph of x against observed and predicted value with the following command plot x y now automate these steps by defining the new function in psi nodes here is the program to fit the experimental data to given degree of polynomial as we have discussed before the function polyfit will give the values of y that will be best fitted to our observed values of y first let's verify the lines of this program step by step in the console whether it will work or not so in the console first i will take the values for the variable or vector x and then the corresponding values of vector y suppose we want here to fit this data to second degree polynomial that is n is equal to 2 
Now let us define the matrix Xx as a zero matrix with the number of rows equal to the length of vector X and number of columns equal to n plus 1. So this is xx0 matrix. Now apply the for loop for i is equal to 1 to n plus 1 such that xx matrix have the ith column equal to x raised to i minus 1. Now the matrix capital X is equal to xx transpose into x. So this is the matrix capital X which we have discussed in our presentation. The column vector on the right hand side of matrix equation B the values of coefficients the best fitted values of y let's plot the values of y against the x by using this plot 2d function So let us suppose its observed values are shown by the markers on the same graphics window I want to plot the values of yf with the red curve So this is the graphics window with the markers that shows the observed data and the red curve shows the best fitted second degree polynomial curve for the observed data. So let's try one more example. So this values of x and y will call the polyfit function. I want to fit this data to the fourth degree of polynomial. So these are the fitted values of y and these are the coefficients. In plot 2d function, I am using for plotting the observed values of y against x. Because with markers on the same graphics window, I want to plot the fitted values to the fourth degree polynomial that is shown by phi f. This markers shows the observed data for y and the solid rate curve shows the fourth degree fitted polynomial. Same data now I will try to fit to the third degree polynomial. So again I will call the function polyfit how n is equal to 3. These are the fitted values for y and these are the coefficients. And the same graphics window that we have plot earlier I will plot this new values of yf The blue curve. So now this blue curve shows the defeated polynomial with degree 3. In this way we can obtain the best fit for the observed data. That's all for today. Tomorrow we will see the fitting of observed data to the other functions like exponential, trigonometric, etc.